Hey everyone, it's Heath from Homes on Wheels. Welcome back to another edition. We are here at Clayton Homes in Anniston, Alabama, and we are filming the Morocco. This is a 1900 square foot home, very reasonably priced. Let's go in and take a look. And we'll pop the floor plan up for you guys. If you haven't already subscribed, be sure to go ahead and do so and hit that bell icon. That way you get notified every time we release a new video. Now let's go inside and take a look. Oh wow, this is really open. Now we've been in here before and we give you guys a sneak peek. I think Kelly and I came in this uh, home together. And you'll notice it's very spacey as soon as you come in. I'm just going back up here in the corner and give it a pan around. And it opens right up to the kitchen here. We're going to go take a look at that. Got your island with a sink in the island. Got your cabinets all the way around your refrigerator and the can lighting in the ceiling. I like that. Yeah, let's walk back through here to the back side of the kitchen and see what else we're working with. What do you guys think? Do y'all like the uh, sink in the island or do you like it in the regular counters? I hear uh, kind of conflicting. Some people like it, some people don't. Let us know what you think in the comments, which you prefer, if you like it in the island or if you like it in the main part. Here's your stove and your exhaust. Now walk on back through here. And this is a little, almost a butler pantry area here. Right off the kitchen, back towards the laundry. You do have a window that opens here in the kitchen, guys. Then there is, to the right, would be your heating and air return. Walking on in here, you have your area for your washer and your dryer. And your hookups. Now, you could probably put a freezer in here. I don't know, maybe. Uh, it, maybe a small one right here in the corner. I don't know, you had to run the cord around. But uh, it would be possibly a space, again, it wouldn't be a big one, but you could get one in there, I think. Now, I love what they've done with the kitchen area here in the, the dining area. Right here with the big sliding glass door behind the table. We're going to scan back to your den area here. And you see the Ecobee uh, Wi Fi controlled uh, heating and air there. The can lighting in the, in the ceiling here in the den. And then we're going to turn back this way. And we're going to go and take a look at your guest rooms. Looks like this is going to be a four bedroom house, I believe. So you got plenty of space. If you have a little bit bigger family than usual. Not your cookie cutter three uh, bedroom house. All right, and we're going to take a look inside the closets. Standard size, actually no, this is bigger than a standard size closet. It goes on back, so a little wider closet than we're used to seeing. All right, then we're gonna go and take a look in the other bedroom. We're gonna call this bedroom number two. Yeah, it's got one window, and again, it's got carpeting in here, and the vents are in the floor. Let's take a look. Oh, and this is a bigger closet here, guys. This is a this is a little small walk-in closet in this bedroom. And you could put more shelving in here if you needed. All right, so that was a little bit of a surprise. A lot of time they'll mirror these, and then we're going to take a look inside the guest bathroom here. And you've got your tub shower combo one piece. 
you got your standard one sink in the guest room. I really like the way they did that with the uh, the old uh, the old style basin. Not sure what you call that. Y'all know what they call that? Where it kind of stands alone like that. All right. So then we're gonna go into the other bedroom here. Back through the den. take a look at this bedroom and this one seems a little bit bigger than the other two guest rooms this one just right off the end of the den so if you have an older kid teenager be perfect and another walk-in closet and this walk-in closet I believe is even bigger than the other one and it's got canned lighting in the walk-in closet there too so that's pretty nice all right, so let's go back out. Let's head over to the other side of the house and let's take a look at bedroom number four, which is your master bedroom. And it's right off of the uh, living room area here. And they do have the uh, vinyl flooring in here in the master. One big window here. And then we're gonna just look, pan over here and look inside the closet. And it looks like it's another walk-in closet. Yeah. And they have the vinyl flooring in here. And there's a light switch for your canned lighting in this closet too. They don't have the power hooked up here yet. All right, so let's go over and see what everybody loves to see. And that is the master bath. All right, so it looks like just headed in here, you've already got the bath shower combo, the one piece um, unit here. It is a little bit bigger though. It's bigger than the standards that you see. Got a little bit bigger tub for you guys. It's got a standard uh, shower head, but you could upgrade that to the rain head if you like it. And then you got a little nook over here. This would be perfect for makeup or hampers or just, just really whatever you want to put over there. And we're gonna turn back here and you'll see the uh, toilet area is separated off. It's not closed off but it's separated out. And then you've got your two sinks here. And you've got another big walk-in closet right here, guys, inside the bathroom. And it's got canned lighting in there as well, and the vinyl. All right, now let's go out and see how much this home is. And like I say, it's 1,900 square feet, so you would expect to pay a lot for it, but uh, it's priced fairly reasonable, actually. So let's go take a look at that real fast. And it is, again, we are looking at the Morocco. There's your model number, and your square footage is 1904. Here's your options. And all included, it's 123, 221, or if you want the home only, 107, 861. And again, we are at Clayton Homes in Anniston, Alabama. And this price is at the time of filming, so it could change tomorrow. It could go up, it could go down, but with building cost, you probably want to talk to them sooner rather than later uh, in case the price was to increase. So we're gonna head over right, right over there and look at the next home. You can click in the upper right hand corner and go with us and see where we're going next.